In news from Pakistan, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif on Thursday said he was left with no choice but to raise the fuel prices as he blamed the hike on the previous government's deal with the International Monetary Fund, which he termed as the worst ever. The IMF has said the South Asian nation needs to take strict measures to control its fiscal deficit and resume a six billion US dollar bailout package. Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif on Thursday blamed the latest hike in fuel prices on the previous PTI-led government's worst ever deal with IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and said he was left with no choice. Taking to Twitter, the PM said that he would soon share specifics of the deal between the IMF and the PTI in the coming days. The Finance Ministry on Wednesday announced the removal of fuel subsidies in a bid to trim the fiscal deficit and aimed at securing critical support from the IMF. This is the third cut in fuel subsidies since May 26. The hike by nearly 24 rupees has taken the current petrol prices to Rs 233.89 per litre, unprecedented in the country's history. Earlier this week, Finance Minister Mifta Ismail had said abolishing the fuel subsidies till July was imperative to prevent the country from going bankrupt. He blamed ousted Premier Imran Khan had given the subsidy in his last days in power to cool down public sentiment in the face of double-digit inflation, a move the IMF said deviated from the terms of a 2019 deal. The IMF wants the South Asian nation to take strict measures to control its fiscal deficit in the face of a balance of payment crisis and resume a six billion US dollar bailout package. Pakistan's foreign exchange reserves have tumbled to 9.2 billion dollars while the Pakistani rupee has plummeted to historic lows of 206 rupees against the US dollar.